Ta-da! <laughs> I can't get my technology to work today. All right, guys. It's my third live at lunch with your other closet. And today we're going to do jewelry and we are going to do some home decor pieces. Uh, if you've never met me before, I'm Kelly. I own Your Other Closet, and it's a consignment boutique here in Albuquerque. We have furniture, home decor, and women's fashion items. We are currently closed to the public for walking in and shopping, so I am now talking to a camera and nobody else. My husband so will be happy when we are open again because then I will have someone else to talk to because when I get home, I am very chatty. Um, what we're gonna do today is a sale. Anything you see, either uh, message me below and say, hey, I like that. I'm not doing a lot of numbers today. You're just gonna say, hey, I like the blue necklace or something like that. And hey, Elena. Um, what we're going to do then also is you can either message me and say, hey, you'd like to buy it. If you are not sure and you need some details, maybe call the shop, 355-5979. And uh, if you are buying here locally in town, I can deliver it to you or you can do curbside pickup. If you purchase it with cash, this shop is gonna pay the tax. If you need to purchase it with a credit card, we can do that over the phone or we can, um, why can't you hear me? You can't hear me. I'm just chatting away. Oh, that's never good. Let's see once. What do I do? Hmm. Uh, what are we gonna do? Da 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 da. Nope. Nope. Volume. Something has to go wrong every time. Da da da. Why are we not doing volume? Nope. Nope. Ah, do I have to cancel it and start over? I might have to. Let's see if I can do that. So Elena, you still can't hear me, right? No. Darn. All right. You can hear me, Lisa. Okay, Elena, then maybe you should turn up your volume. And you can hear me, Dolores. Thank you. Emily is watching. Okay. <laughs> Every time I am going to have something go wrong. All right, Elena, I'm actually not speaking and everyone else is being nice to you and saying that they can hear you. <laughs> so, okay, inside joke. Anyway, all right, let's start over. If you want to buy something, just go ahead and text me. Tell me what you're doing. I see there's Kathy Lee. Uh, we had Lisa's Nusi. Hey, Lisa. Emily's there from Las Lunas Bolinaria. Charms there. Yay. Everybody can hear me. Let's get started then. Again, if you want to buy it here, you can do curbside pickup. You can do credit cards by the phone or when you get here, I can run it. Um, I will hold things for you if you can't get by because I'm not going to be here on Saturdays, Sundays, or Mondays. But I am here Tuesday through Friday. And if you buy something, I can deliver it if you're not wanting to get out of the house. Okay? So we're going to do jewelry. I am making jewelry today very easy because I'm going to do it all at $10. It's just little kind of fun stuff. Jewelry is something that some I feel like you should try on or you have to see it to see how pretty or vibrant it is. My lighting in my shop is not always the best, but I'm going to show you some really cool things that I think are a good deal. And maybe if you are thinking of Mother's Day coming up and you want a gift, jewelry might be good. If you need to cheer up a friend, jewelry is easy to ship by mail. Um, we want to support our post office. So these are things that I think you might be able to have fun and just do a quick little gift. Okay. We are doing earrings. Again, every piece of jewelry in here is $10. This is a really cute piece of uh, earrings. The light is not showing it. They're sterling squares, but they have a stone on the inside that's brown, and it's almost like um, a little bit of a tiger's eye. My mom and I were trying to think. It looks to me almost a tortoise color, but they're really cute. They're little post earrings. The next ones are dangly, and I'm going to... Uh, it's hard to see these. Let's see. Ta-da! Dangly earrings. And these are cute because they have um, an Asian kind of floral uh, kind of style. So you might try those. Um, they're kind of cute. And if you want, later on, send me your uh, cell phone number and I can um, 
uh, send you a photo of it that's a little bit closer. And Tom, <gasps> Tom, Michaelene, Michael it's so good to see you. Not see you, kind of, but Michaelene, it's good that you're on because I you haven't been in so long. These are super fun. I was thinking if you just want to show off in your kitchen while you're home, great, in your backyard. Um, if you have someone maybe younger, I'm not saying we can't wear them, but they're a lot of fun. Lots of little stars. $10, okay. These I like because I'm into tortoise this year. I don't know why. These are probably stone as well, but they have a tortoise color to them, and they're really super cute. Fun for summer. I think they go great with uh, denim you know, kind of thing. All right. These are um, fish hook uh, backs, but they're little silver um, flowers. Really cute. Fun for summer, again, for everybody. Um, if you've got someone who just needs a cute gift, this might be fun. The next five are a really good deal. They are all Brighton. If you're not sure about Brighton, Brighton's out of Texas. They do a lot of silver, they do a lot of purses, belts, uh, different leather work, but they do a lot of jewelry as well. And all my um, earrings that are from Brighton are half off, so they're now $10 when some of them used to be $20 or $30. So these are clips for people who need some clip earrings. Um, they're cool, super cool, little dangly medallion style, but they are clips, modern version of clip earrings, $10. This is unusual for me. They have a gold or a brass finish, not silver. They are probably silver underneath, but they have that uh, finish to them. Their clip as well, again, $10. Another pair, these are the gold plus the silver squares. Um, and they are clip earrings as well. So if you've got someone who really loves some Brighton, and yes, Julie, I picked up Brighton just for you because you bought a pair already from me. These are post earrings, um, kind of the more traditional Brighton style with a little filigree to it. And they are post earrings as well, $10. And then these are, um, I would say almost look like some of the pieces that they have on their purses. And they're post earrings as well, but they're Brighton. So again, I have five pairs of Brighton that are half off, which means they're $10 now. And some of them actually used to be a little more, but, uh, I would love to make them as a gift for somebody. Um, I'm gonna keep going, and these are kind of, uh, the, we're gonna do bracelets and some necklaces. Again, I know it's hard to buy jewelry if you're buying it for yourself and you haven't tried it on, but if you wanted to swing by and do a pickup, you could always check it first before you purchased it. Um, this is a fun little bangle. It's not truly a stretch. It is all crystal, it's braided. It's kind of like that snake braid. It's $10 and it's a very deep, deep blue, okay? Hi, Billy. Yes, I didn't do my hair, sorry. Um, this is fun, multi strands, it's in brown. I'm doing that tortoise thing again. And uh, it has um, one of those little uh, claw, not claw clasps, T clasps. So it's easier to put on for yourself so you don't have to have your hubby or spouse or friend next door come put it on for you. We have one more. It is a beaded and chain necklace. Um, this is cool. It's a T class, but the other end is a um, sun. It's so cute, but they're in kind of mauves and rose colors, and it's a stone bracelet. This one is cool. Neon's in. I love neon. I love green. These are stones polished with the um, metal wrappings around them, and it's kind of chunky but fun. Uh, very classy. You can style it up or down. Now these are stretchy. They're kind of fun. It's kind of the snake braid. Okay, this one's gold with a silver um, floating bead. This one is silver with the gold uh, floating bead. Okay, so I did the six bracelets. Each of them are $10. If you need to see a picture, you can always text me your um, phone number and I can send you a photo of it. Necklaces. Okay, this one is fun for summer again, almost like a tiger's eye. It is multi beaded, multi strands. Um, all browns, very pretty. This one is a piece of, I would almost say it's gonna call the beach glass because it's polished off and it looks like it's probably either been sanded or maybe etched with some of the flooring. But there's two strands and they're in greens with a little hint of blue. This one is cool. If you're doing a um, 
real plain top and you want or a summer dress this would be fun it's a chain but it also has the oranges and greens and pinks and they're just glass beads but they're a lot of fun catch the light okay this is a set and it has earrings and a necklace and the earrings are square very lightweight but they've got that beautiful aqua color water color so if you cannot go to the beach this year because we're all stuck here at home you could pretend to be at the beach because it's the aqua color right okay <laughs> um the necklaces are beaded it's a multi um, strand and the uh the uh, pendant matches ten dollars for the necklace ten dollars for the earrings all right and the last piece of jewelry this is just super funky, okay? Um, it's a chain, each piece is wired. They mixed silver with gold um, and they're glass beads, but some of them are actually done as someone probably um, hand made them because they have little pieces that are kind of stuck on them. And the earrings are dangly as well. So 10 each, okay? All right, um, that's jewelry. I'm going to do a little bit of the uh, um, home decor. You can probably hear my phone. If one of you guys is calling me, I am not getting the phone yet, okay? I'm going to move this over. All right. Did some home decor. And um, first and foremost, please buy Katie or Scooter because they are creepy to me. I say that lovingly. You may want them in your house. They are cookie jars. So... Katie, okay, very cute. Her hat, her hat comes off and you put the cookies inside. I would say it's only big enough for, let's say, dog treats because I eat a lot more cookies than that. Um, they do come with a little bit of information on where they were made, okay, but they are collector's pieces and they're $10. No, sorry, got that wrong. Jewelry's $10. $15 for Katie and her little hat It's like a little beanie. Okay, they can be separated. They don't have to go home with one person. Okay. And then we have Scooter, little boy. So if you got a little grandkid, you got somebody who has cookies, you want something cute, maybe you collect cookie jars. I won't judge. It's just, I took them and now they creep me out. And the girls like to, before they were, when they were working, I'd walk in the shop and they'd be in a new location all by themselves. One time they were in the bathroom when I went in there and I didn't know it till I closed the door. Okay. All right. We have a way cool glass pickle jar. Very nice. It has the um, sealed wood lid, $15. It's probably about a two gallon, maybe a little bit higher. Um, I would fill it with, you know, anything, candy, ornaments at Christmas. Um, you could put uh, cookies in there if you wanted, pickles in there if you really have a, a want for a lot of pickles. There you go. All right, now I have a super cool, everybody's getting organized. If you're organizing your kitchen and you want something a little cute, these are fun. It's a three canister set. I still have the box for it. They're beautiful, octagon shaped, okay? But they have those um, kind of vintage uh, birds and floral uh, pictures on them. And then the top almost looks like it's a little bit of a gazebo or a birdhouse. The whole set, there's th three of them in incremental size. It's $40 for the set, okay? It does have the box, so if you wanna make it a um, birthday gift or Mother's Day gift, it still can be wrapped up. I'm happy to wrap it for you if you need someone to wrap it for you. Oh, Julie, we're putting candy and chocolate in those. That's a lot of chocolate. Uh, I suppose we could, but yeah, we could do that. These are gorgeous. They're cobalt blue. There's four of them. Again, they're sealable. So these are super sealable, but it's the kind of like the antique version of them, but the blue is amazing, okay? Um, they do not have a stamp on them, so I cannot say that they're like William and Sonoma, but these are really well made. The metal um, hinge is great. They're in perfect condition. Four of them, $40. Okay, this is a gorgeous stoneware crock. It is actually custom made. 
it says bread and it was probably something it's a throwback to what they used in England because um, I didn't use this here ever but it's a stoneware nice thing is it has a new lid on it that is not chipped hard to find and it is in great condition okay it is signed by the artist um, it's a beautiful piece. It would look great in a kitchen. You could do your bread in it. You could do um, anything else, noodles, things like that, things, dry goods that you want to keep. But it is a one of a kind. It's $50. Uh, the owner told me they paid it $80 when they had the artist make it. And it's been about, oh, five, six years. Okay. And these two lovely lamps. I'm going to switch this around a little bit okay we have these lamps they are brass based um and we've had them for a little while the shades are in great shape there's two of them that match you can have one if you just want they're each forty dollars if you want like you should know if you've shopped in my sh store before you can make offers to the owners and at this point some of the owners might be going sure let's make a deal so if you're interested in it you might want to go ahead and make an offer julie you're correct i would say maybe the shades worth almost 40 dollars, but it's a beautiful lamp and there's two of them okay and then the last piece and i don't know if you guys can see it not so well the painting on the wall it's too cute it's two women um not a ton of detail on their faces, which I think is kind of fun, but they're in a rosy mauve brown color, and it's $40 for that painting as well. Okay, um, I zipped through that probably way too fast. Um, Julie, you are very chatty today. Thank you. Yes, the blue canisters would be great for tea bags or coffee, um, anything that you want to keep dry because those seals are super great. And all these pieces are available. I'm going to do um, a recap photo album. So if you've looked back at my old videos, we have f photo albums. And as we sell pieces, I comment that they've been sold. But if there's anything left over this afternoon, I'll make a photo album. I'll post it. At that point, you can either call the shop or you can... Um, uh, just text me. You can email me if you know my email, which is Kelly, K-E-L-L-I, at yourothercloset.com. Lisa, I will hold the big glass jar for you, okay? Um, and then if you are interested in any of the other older pieces or even this week's pieces, again, just reach out to us and we will hold them for you. I can wrap things for you. If you are not leaving your house, I can deliver it to your house. If you are within reasonable area, um, I did a <laughs> meet and greet halfway in between with um, Emily from Las Lunas Berlin area. She met me halfway and that was a lot of fun. I felt like I was doing a deal in the back of my car with, you know, hey, I got the good stuff. Anyway, um, I'm not quite sure. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention is please buy local. Uh, you're you're making me feel awesome because I've done three of these videos and I've actually today have 12 people watching yay um sometimes people do these videos and nobody's watching you've also passed it on to people which i really truly appreciate and people are buying things if you also could help other small businesses if you haven't heard in the news um a lot of the stimulus money and the government money is just not getting to us the way we need to and if we want to keep open we have to find creative ways to sell things so maybe hit up one of your local restaurants and have them deliver food to you or possibly go pick it up um, one of the cool things is, is Ann and Claren are uh, driving for Grubhub, so you might see them. They might be your delivery people. Um, also, uh, we hope to be online with our Shopify site next week, which means that from that day forward, you can always do online, sh online shopping with our store. So even if you start finding things like a couch or something like that, you can buy it online, and then we can do um, curbside pickup or organize somebody to deliver it for you because we still do use a couple of the local moving companies. Um, I think that's it. The only thing I'd love to know is what you guys would love me to do for um, 
uh, other videos. I'm going to do the videos on Fridays and on Mondays from 1215 to 1245. And they always will be rebroadcast. They'll be on, re on our YouTube channel and our Facebook channel. Um, anything else, guys? Did I go way, way too fast? Elena, did you ever get to hear me? Or am I just doing like mimicry and whatever? Uh, I don't see anything else. Julie's going to do some jewelry, maybe. That's fabulous. I've got your puzzle and your cross being mailed today, if I can get down there. Oh, tip of the day. Never shop at the Smiths here in our shopping center on Thursdays. Yesterday, my mom and I were in the store, and the line was to my store all day long. So I don't know what goes on on Thursdays, but they are packed. Um, yes, we do. Lee, we do have some silver and Native American jewelry. Um, I have a vendor who specializes in it. She's been in the business for 50 years. Beautiful pieces. Uh, if you're interested, tell me what you're looking for. Uh, message me your phone number that I can text some photos at, and I'm happy to text you some photos, okay? And then if you're interested, I can hold on to them for you. Michaeline, oh, Michaeline, you're very sweet. Thank you. I hope you get a chance to paint some of your furniture because I am running out of furniture. So if you would love to paint something for me and have Tom bring it down, that'd be great. And Billy, you're way too nice. Billy, I did not cheat on you. So the next door salon wanted to give me some color, but I'm going to wait till it's totally awful before I come in. Okay, make your job so much more fun. Anyway, anybody else got anything? No, did I go too fast? You like it all. Lee, okay, I'm going to honestly send me your phone number, Lee, and I'll send you some photos. And I can add a few to a photo album on Facebook if you'd like. Okay, I think we're done. A couple people have timed out, so that's great. We're down to nine. Dolores, Dolores, I hope you're feeling better. I know yesterday you weren't, so I do hope that you are feeling much better today. And all of you take care. Be careful. We're being careful. I am going to be stubborn, and I'm really, really hoping to be open again um, in May. And I'm just going to make it work. But we're going to try and be very creative and just do all kinds of new, I don't know, thinking outside of the box. So I think I'm done. I can't think of anything else, guys. $10 jewelry. If you see anything in the photo album you like, just message me or put a comment on it, and I'll get back to you. Please take home Katie and Scooter. They would love to be in your house. And the other pieces, I have more, but we're going to work on it on Monday. So Monday, 12.15 is our next um, broadcast. <laughs> well, Dolores, please take care of yourself. I'm glad you're feeling a little bit better. Ice cream always works. You might try ice cream. So, okay, guys, have a great weekend. It's beautiful out. Please get some sun, get some vitamin D. Um, Stay safe, and we will talk to you next week. Thank you.